Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soraya, and today I wanna to talk about trusting your inner guidance. I wanna talk about really how to know um, whether or not you're being guided by the divine or being guided by upsets and illusions, which can kind of derail you <laughs> um, off of the twin flame ascension path and therefore um, get you off track to healing twin flame separation. So this is actually a really, really important subject um, because it's about where do you get your guidance from? How do you know how to navigate all of this stuff? Um, and uh, being very discerning there so that you don't, like I said, get derailed because it does happen where people will be very well-meaning and you know maybe they've read stuff on the internet, not Twin Flames Universe stuff. <laughs> um, there's just a lot of stuff on the internet about Twin Flames that um, people just kind of say things. I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I guess there's just a lot of people doing it. They just kind of say, what they think instead of um, really testing things. But um, a lot of people can be very confused in terms of guidance and uh, they kind of, you know, they, they, they want to be with their twin flame, but they're not going about it the right way because of that, you know, bad guidance or, or um, you know, guidance that's just not based on how twin flames work. And it's, it's an, this is an important thing. Because if you're going to be investing your energy into something, it's not just that you have the right goal in mind, it's that you're walking the right path to get that result. And so, yeah, I want to talk about that. So something Jeff and Shalia teach about this that is really important here um, is that if you follow your heart, uh, what can happen is it just, it really, the, the biggest thing to look at if you're following your heart is what's in your heart. Because sometimes people will think like, oh, well, if I follow my heart, then it must be divine guidance. But sometimes we can have types of like spiritual sickness in our heart. We can have upsets. We can have fears. We can have resentment. We can have unforgiveness. We can have um, anger, different things like that in our, in our feelings, in our heart. And it makes it so that when we go within and we're feeling into our heart and we feel this like compulsion to go do something, it could be fueled from the upset instead of being fueled from the divine. And so it, it feels like, oh, I feel led to do something because it's like, like I said, it's like a compulsion energy, um, but it's not coming from peace. It's coming from that upset. It's got like a charge associated with it. And so um, that's really a big key thing here actually is whether or not it has a charge because that energy of an upset is like, you know, it's very emotionally charged, whereas peace is very still. And so it's not this like going forward, like trying to make things happen, feeling like you need to go do something or, or get something or, or whatever it may be. It's more of a, I'm with God and I have clarity in this place that I'm with God and from there I know what to do. And so it's a very peaceful knowing that you're really you're really coming from and uh that's how you know you want to receive your guidance from god you can also improve your communication with god i don't know if you have like a prayer practice everybody has different religious backgrounds um but god is here and god wants to support you on your twin flame journey god is very happy about twin flames coming together because this is how he created marriage this was how it was made like the desire that we all have in our heart for a romantic partner that was given to us by god and uh, this was his design for it was to have an ultimate lover a perfect partner to have a partner that grows with you for all of eternity to to be with someone that you can invest into fully and never have to worry about breaking up or having separation ever again like god didn't create breakups and heartbreak and divorces and and disappointment and confusion and miscommunication in, in those particular ways like of course you can have things that you've got to like you know get clear on with your twin but you know when you're with the wrong person there's always going to be a disharmony you're not you're not completely you're not of one accord you're not one and so there's going to have to be compromise there's going to have to be 
um, you know, like a sacrificing of what you want to do and truly honoring yourself at all times in your relationship in order to make it work with this other person. Um, and so with twin flames, the beautiful thing about this kind of going back to guidance is that it's natural, like what God created just is, whereas what we do with illusion of control is something that we had to put a lot of effort into to maintain that illusion consciously or unconsciously. We had to put in a lot of effort to maintain the illusion with God. We, you know, removing all the upsets and all of the different things. It's just what is like what, what remains when you release the upsets? What is that guidance? What is that still small voice? And the truth will always feel peaceful. That's another thing Jeff and Shalia teach. It's always going to feel really, really peaceful. And that means it's going to feel really good. It's not going to be like, oh yeah, this is so much fun. I'm going to go do this thing. Like, yes, I want to go text my twin flame. Like, that's not the energy of divine guidance. Divine guidance is like, it feels really good to reach out to my twin flame. I don't even care if they respond. I just want to reach out. It just feels good too. Oh, I just saw this meme and I thought about my twin flame. And you do it without even thinking. Like, it's just, it's natural. It's just, it's not this big um, extreme hyped up thing. And so this is really a call to pay very close attention to your inner state. And there's a type of discipline associated with having your twin flame in your life uh, where you really want to like check in with yourself, you know, and, and sometimes you might catch yourself wanting to send a text and it's actually coming out of upset instead of coming from a place of peace. And uh, it's okay, it's good to notice that. And when you notice that, you can do the mirror exercise, resolve the upset, and then go forward with peace. So um, it's okay, like, you know, and we've all made mistakes in this department <laughs> um, with our twin flame. We have all, you know, reacted out of an upset, been super triggered, said some things, <laughs> done some things, like we're human, right? Um, it's okay, but you become aware of it and you begin to catch yourself. Um, a lot sooner you're more sensitive to when you're upset so that you can do the mirror exercise and uh, really you know paying attention to peace and noticing that there's peace there's also a way to come into your harmonious union and God knows the way for you so the mirror exercise is the tool that you use and the way in terms of the teaching, I mean, that is there of like how twin flames work and, you know, what it takes to heal separation consciousness. Jeff and Shalia discovered all of that and, and teach that. So that's there. But your unique path of like what's coming up for you on your journey, the lessons that you're learning, the healing that you're going on, that is so unique to you. And so it's really trusting God in your journey it's knowing that every upset that comes up is the right upset for you to heal based on what you desire to manifest in your reality, whether it's your harmonious twin flame union or anything else in your reality that you want to manifest. It's based on the level of your desire. This is something Jeff and Shalia talk about. Like if you have a very strong desire for something, then everything's going to come up a bit quicker to help you heal through those upsets so that you can attract uh, what it is that you desire because once you feel the upset you're a vibrational match for what you want <laughs> that's why the mirror exercise is, is so powerful um but yeah i mean it's it's so custom to you who are you what like what are your values what's on your love list for your twin flame and your journey and and your you know perfect you know business or life um you know it's all of these things that's like a fingerprint to you and so it's about taking the tool of the mirror exercise, taking the teaching of Twin Flame Ascension School that teaches you about you know twin flames and how they work, and then walking your path of your consciousness with God. It's what Jeff and Shalia teach is, you know, this is your journey, and it's about you honoring yourself. And the tool of the mirror exercise and the teaching is to assist you, is to help you open your mind to how to uh, love and honor yourself and walk your path. And, and the beautiful thing about this, from like a big scheme of things, like, you know, looking at the whole world, um, each of us, every human being, we all have such unique perspectives. We all have such unique desires. 
We all have such unique experiences and lessons that we've learned and will learn and um, different gifts that we have to give, like different life purposes and all these different unique things that are just so just like beautifully put together by God um, that there's no such thing as comparison, that we're all just, we all just have such a beautiful gift to give. And so it's really about sinking into your journey, feeling into your heart, seeing how you feel and um, honoring, you know, your divine guidance that comes from that place of peace, not that place of upset or trying to get something or trying to do something, but that place of peace of I'm with God. I am, I know that I'm with my good here. I feel peaceful. And from that place of peace, it feels good to do this. So I'm going to, I'm going to follow that good, juicy feeling. And so um, it's safe to trust uh, your divine guidance. But again, this whole thing of trusting your heart, you just want to check and see how does your heart feel? What's in your heart? Uh, if Is there an upset there? And if there is, definitely resolve that. It's not to say that you can't move forward because there's upsets there. It just means that take a little pause, <laughs> do the mirror exercise, and then see how you feel. You might want to do exactly what you wanted to do before, but now you feel peaceful about it. Or you might realize, oh, I healed that upset. I don't really want to text my twin or I don't want to, you know, go do this activity or do whatever it is I thought I wanted to do. And that's okay too. So it's surrender. It's about humility. It's about discipline with the inner work. It's about honoring yourself and respecting yourself. And it's about really wanting peace and choosing peace and um, trusting the process, you know, learn, <laughs> learn the teaching, practice it, uh, and you will get the results. So that's what you want to check for. And um, really just like a little like a public service announcement at the end of this, be, be discerning about who you listen to in, in any area of life. Um, when we're talking about like leadership, teachers, authorities on different things, like really be discerning about who you listen to, you know, really practice and test what is being said to you to see if there's validity to it. Because there's so many people in this world that claim to be an authority on things. And really, it's about results. It's about, you know, what's like, what's actually happening and is what is being taught coming from a place of peace does it expand peace or does it expand fear and uh is it based on union and oneness with your good or is it based on you're separate so you have to do this um so really look at that and be discerning when we're when i'm just you know talking about the subject of of guidance on the twin flame journey i just feel like it's really important to share that piece um, because I just see so many people who spend a lot of time and energy spinning their wheels and you just want to make sure that um, you're following divine guidance and that you are, um, you know, doing what really serves you and what aligns you with the love that you are within. So, um, yeah, I have all, all kinds of support as always beneath this video. So if you want more help, if you want to inflame Ascension School coaching support, whatever it may be, all of that's beneath this video. The mirror exercise is beneath this video. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.